Hi everyone and welcome. Today I want to talk to you about those stupid directions we often get from directors. Pick up the pace, make it faster, give me more energy, angrier, funnier, all that crap. It doesn't work and I'll tell you why. Before we do that, I want to talk about first of all why we're here. I want to start this understanding. I, my main concern here is to share knowledge. I'm giving you acting information. What I don't care about is if the lighting is right. I know there's shadows and all that crap. You know, the sound has to be clean. You have to be able to hear me. You have to see me enough, right? Why I'm telling you is that don't get sucked into, I, I go online, I see these people and they look polished. They've got the right background, the right equipment, but the information is crap. It's not usable. I was in acting classes for many, many years and he took one man, his name is Barry Primus, he's an amazing actor, an amazing director. You should all check out his work. He's the one that said to me, that works great in class, but outside class, on a set, on a stage, it's worthless. This is what you take from class and put on stage. That's when I realized, oh my God, a lot of this information that a lot of these teachers are teaching are worthless. You don't actually use it. It sounds good, it feels good, but it doesn't work. So we're here to give you knowledge for acting on three levels. The first one is, and I've said this before, what gives you an actor's body. That's the one most of you will bypass because you don't have time for it. That takes consistency, years of commitment, but it gives you an actor's body. The second one is acting tools and skills that you can actually use with that actor's body to get your information across and how to translate your ideas. And of course, the last one is the business side of things. It's not enough to just wait on the phone for your agent to call you. You've got to learn how to market yourself, how to develop product. You're a product. You have to sell yourself. And it comes down to one thing. What's your body of work that trumps everything? Having said that, now let's get back to the topic. Many directors say things, as you heard me say, give me more energy, do this one again. That's not actable. Stella Adler used to say, is it actable? I'll give you an example. I don't walk in the room going, I'm gonna go in the room with my wife and I'll scream and yell. I have a reason to scream and yell. That's different. I'm not funny just to be funny. I'm funny because maybe I'm trying to impress someone. That's different. I don't do things fast just to be fast. When a director says, do it again, but this time faster. So now the actor's on the set and they're going, okay, I'll just do it again. And they're fast and their brain's going, why am I fast? I don't know why I'm fast. I'm just fast. And there's a massive disconnection. I will give you an example. Let's assume you've got a line. Hey, are you ready? Let's go. And I'm here to pick you up with my car. If I've got plenty of time, I can walk in casually and go, hey, you ready? Let's go. If I'm double parked and there's a cop coming down the street, I'm not going to walk in and go, hey man, quickly, hurry up, let's go. I picked up the energy and I picked up the timing. When someone said speed things up or give me more energy, what you have to do is change the urgency of the situation. If I'm heading out for work, and there's nothing much going on at work. I could go, okay, bye folks. I could say bye to the kids. Bye, I'll see you later. Bye, I'll see you later. Bye, honey, I'll be home five or six o'clock, whatever it is. Casual, no rush. If I'm running late for that massive board meeting and I've always been late, it's different. Hi, hon, gotta go, bye, see you later, talk later, bye. In the car, gone. If my boss is at work and my computer's on and it can see all my personal information, this is what the dialogue could look like. Gotta go, bye, the band, out, gone. I will throw out all the dialogue really quickly. I will throw out the script really quickly. My behavior will be fast. I still gotta grab my keys. I still gotta grab my phone. I still gotta grab everything. You can't cut those corners. You just do them faster. So when a director says, pick it up a little, give me more energy, think urgency. Think the need to get it done and the lines still have to come out. They may not come out perfect and this is where great directors are different from just a shit director. If I drop a line or I cut the sentence in half, that's okay as long as the information comes out. I'll see you later, I'll be home at five, bye, gotta go. That information's still there, the information's still needed but the wait's done and you always pick up your keys.
You don't go, oh shit, I did a take and I didn't pick up my keys. In real life, you pick up your keys. If you have to spend 10 seconds more to pick up your keys, that's what you have to do. There's an amazing scene in a film called uh, Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. Sidney Lumet, and it's just brilliant. Uh, what's her name? Marisa Tomei. She argues with her husband. And as she's leaving, she's got a suitcase and it's an awkward apartment. That it's, it's not even a stairwell, just the pathway goes like this and her suitcase falls over. I get a feeling that just happened in the moment. They did not say cut. She has her suitcase, nothing worth it going, screw you, I'm out of here. And you leave and your suitcase falls over. I mean, that's the worst. They didn't stop, they didn't giggle. She didn't lose focus. She picked up everything, put in the suitcase in an urgent matter and left. All these things, even when they say slow down. I remember an amazing teacher of mine back in LA. He said, if you slow it down, if it's shit, and you slow it down, it's just slow down shit. The reason why you slow things down are to take things in. Before you say, I love you to someone, you take them in, you look at them, you find the line. Before you say, I'm hungry, or whatever the line is, you take things in. Before, when the director says, okay, let's do one more take, slow it down and leave the apartment. This is the last time you're in the apartment. Look around, take in the memories, take it all in, and then walk to the door and then look again, touch, then you leave. Now it's not just slow down for slowing down. Now it's slow down for a reason. All these directions that these directors give you, which are horrible directing, by the way, they're what we call result oriented. The result is a byproduct of the reason. You don't go to the gym to sweat. You go to the gym to exercise. Sweat is the result. You don't go in to be fast. You go in because there's a time urgency. You don't slow down just to slow down. You slow down to take things in. Say goodbye to a place, to, you know, take a person in, take in the air, whatever's going in, the, the atmosphere, the ocean. That's why you slow down things. So when someone directs you with a result, your skill, it's not a trick, we're gonna get rid of that word. Your skill is to take it in and make these adjustments as to what could give you that result. And the point is this, a lot of times directors don't know how to use that language. So they have a result in mind. And when they don't see it, they don't know how to direct. They, most directors, sadly, only know about cameras and lights and all that shit, right? They don't know how to talk to actors. So if you're a director listening out there, say, I'm looking for this and find a way to negotiate. Good directors, not good directors, great directors, don't direct with results in mind. They feed things to people. They say to the actor, you know what? You're double parked and there's a cop coming down the way. Your boss is at your computer at work. This is the last time you're leaving this apartment. As you're saying goodbye to her, you know she's having an affair. As you're doing, as the bill is coming, you know you, know you don't have money in, in the bank. Where directors go, do it, act more nervous. Now I'm just acting nervous and I don't know why. But if you're worried about the bill, that's actable, that's doable. And there's a massive difference between the two. So start taking in these result oriented directions and find the reason behind it. And then also look, you're not just depending on the result and on the lines. My objective, which we've talked about that before as a character, is to get to work. My objective is to clean the apartment and leave. I won't forget my lines there because my action stays the same. My action is to pack up, not to stand there acting sad saying the lines. My action is to pay the bill, not to sit there acting nervous. My action is to get to work quickly because my boss is at work already and I'm at home. I still got to do the same action quicker. Translate the end result into action and find the reason behind it. And for all you directors out there, it's the same deal. Stop directing with the result in mind. And one final thing, the worst thing to do as an actor is to tell other actors how to do it. I think you should do it angrier because it feeds me. We don't go to someone and say, when we have an argument, can you scream at me because it feeds you? No, your job is to take them in. If they do it a certain way, you take them in. If it doesn't work, it's not your job as an actor, it's the director's job. And guess what? Take it in. 
If they don't scream at you during an argument, then you don't scream back. Well, you do scream back. This, the, 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 the variables are so many. The point is, it's not your job to tell someone because it feeds you. That's Bananaville. It doesn't work. Take care. Please subscribe. I'll see you again later.